A plan for a large-scale $2 million public artwork by Melbourne City Council has been criticised as a waste of money. But experts say a contemporary piece is needed for our city to remain Australia's cultural capital. Dougal Beatty explains. Melbourne has had its fair share of contentious public art over the years, from bovine stuck-up trees to shards reaching into the sky. Now Dodd Street in Southbank could be home to a new installation, along with its whopping price tag of $2 million. Well, it all depends on what you're getting for two million bucks. It's, you know, if it's like a large-scale piece of art, yeah, it might cost that one. It just sounds like a hell of a lot. Melbourne City Council says the project will incorporate an understanding of technology as an innovation and require an Indigenous advisor, while $65,000 will be spent on an art strategist from Ireland. Art experts agree it will be internationally significant. Part of what we're paying for, if you like, is to get something a bit left of centre a bit a bit a bit interesting to shake us up a little bit but others have labeled it a giant waste of ratepayers money what council could be doing is delivering a rate cut uh, instead we've got this extravagant expenditure um, that is really a vanity exercise for international artists public art has courted controversy geelong's floating christmas tree cost the town one million dollars and moreland council spent seven thousand dollars on a display made from orange plastic safety fencing the project will take Take about three years to complete and will form part of a $35 million plan to create more open space in South Bank. The global search is on for an artist to spark Melbourne's imagination. Dougal Beatty, Nine News.